Hey you guys, it's Jack. This video is a result of me spending countless hours on the internet. I really need to stop spending so much time on the internet. I just can't pull myself away from it. But a few nights ago, I was on Tumblr, like suffocating in my bed. It was like a thousand degrees in my room and I was like covered up, sweating beneath this huge pile of blankets. And I was on Tumblr and I found something and I was like, oh. Shit. For those of you guys who know me, you know I'm obsessed with Disney movies. Like, I practically masturbate to Disney movies, jack off to them. That's how much I love them. Literally, when you see the castle at the opening of Disney movies and that white shit's flying over it, that's me ejaculating. But what I came across on the internet was something called Princes, and it's a Disney movie where they're, the two main characters are princes, and they're gay, and it's like Disney's first ever gay romance or whatever, and literally, the second I saw that, my bowels emptied themselves out into my under underwear and I screamed. The release date was not set yet, but the post said something about 2016 and literally I like, I grabbed my phone. I was like looking through my calendar. I was setting up my, 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 the rest of my life in accordance to this movie. I was thinking to myself like, oh, I can't get a job in 2016 because my entire schedule needs to be open for the premiere of this movie so I can go to the movie, buy a bunch of popcorn. I can cry, I can scream, and I can be removed from the theater after being tranquilized. Like that was what was going through my mind. <laughs> So I was really happy and I was Googling it and I was really looking into it and I found a news article about it and I was like, oh shit, it's in the news. It's already making news. Like, this is so legit. No. No, Felicia. It was a hoax. A mother fucking hoax. In that moment, I became a Disney villain. I boiled 101 Dalmatians and made a fur coat out of them. I stole Ariel's voice. Do not. Fuck with me on that level, everybody, just so you all know. So Disney, this video is to you. Are you listening? Open up your ears and listen to what I have to say. I'm gonna make this video brief. It's not gonna be super long, but it's going to be why we should have a gay Disney prince, because I think it's about time. And we should also have a gay super, Dis not gay Disney superhero, a gay superhero Marvel. Where is this? Who is the, who is in charge? Obviously they're not gay. They need to, somebody needs to hire me to be head of Disney <laughs> and head of Marvel. Does Disney own Marvel? Exactly! Disney, literally 99% of your audience is either girls or homosexual men. Like, there are zero straight people. <laughs> okay, no, that's not true. Do you think it's not gonna sell? Well, to prove you wrong, I tweeted out a few seconds ago, favorite this tweet if you want a gay Disney prince. And I, how many favorites does it have? 50 favorites and 10 retweets. <laughs> 50 times, how much is a movie now? Isn't it like 15 bucks or something? 50 times 15, oh fuck, is that 250? 750, so Disney, push everything else aside. This is big money, big budget. Disney, I couldn't help but notice that you're re-releasing um, Cinderella for the 50th time, is it? And I was waiting and I was like, maybe they'll release a gay version of Cinderella and they didn't, they just released this like, is it a, a British version of, I don't even know what it is. However, just think Disney, you missed out on a great opportunity because if it had been a gay story, there, the story would have been fresh, there would have been new content. A gay guy never would lose his glass slipper on a staircase because we have shoelaces, so you'd have to put a new spin on it. Audiences would love it, standing ovation at the end. Also, we can throw in a unicorn sidekick because Disney, you are yet to travel into the realm of unicorns. And I also pitched out an idea because my major is screenwriting. Let me just say, I was very intoxicated when I pitched out this idea, so don't judge me. First of all, I said, I can be the voice actor of one of the princes. I'll do it for free. There you go. You already don't need to pay somebody. Here, it's crystal clear. Now I'm in a whole new world with soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through endless diamond skies. A whole new world. Be <laughs> dreaming. You're welcome, people upstairs, because I guarantee you they can hear me singing this. <laughs> Taylor Lautner can voice the other because because God knows he isn't getting any other jobs right now in Hollywood. And speaking of Taylor Lautner, it's funny because I don't pray very often, but I have prayed that Taylor Lautner becomes gay. So. I guess it's inspired by The Little Mermaid, what I wrote, and I, judging by the title, which is The Little Twink, it's already going to be a disaster. So once upon a time, there was a little twink, and the twink dreams of becoming a jock, so pretty much it's my life, I guess, in actuality. Anyway, he meets an evil sugar daddy who steals his voice 
and in return, the evil sugar daddy pays for the little twink's protein powder, supplements, and gym membership. Oh, fucking lord. And then the twink will be forced to make the prince of the story voiced by Taylor Lautner. Okay, that was one good idea. Fall in love with him. And he meets Taylor Lautner at a gym, and somehow he manages to make the prince fall in love with him, and then the evil sugar daddy becomes really big and terrorizes West Hollywood. <laughs> He's eventually stabbed with the big Ursula like a sh Oh, I worded that wrong. Stabbed with the front of a big ship like Ursula, and then the prince and the twink get married, and the twink realizes that he must love himself for who he is, and he remains a twink and lives happily ever after. So, apparently, that's what Drunken Jack came up with plot-wise. Aren't you guys glad that this is my college major? I know, I do this for grades, you know, every day. You guys should definitely give this video the thumbs up if you agree that we should have a gay Disney prince. Like I said, haunt Disney until they do it. Until they fucking deliver, and then we'll all have a fantastic time. Leave a comment below if you saw that article and you believed it, or leave a comment below with what the storyline should be. It will not be better than my storyline, obviously, but you guys can try. Try your best in the comment below, or leave a comment with your favorite Disney movie. Uh, who is the hottest Disney prince to you guys? Because I, it's always a toss-up for me. Sometimes I want to say, like, the prince who is in Sleeping Beauty, but at the same time, his voice sketches me out. Like, it's odd and weird. Prince Charming will always be my bae, my number one, but... I don't know. He doesn't get a big role, so I don't know him very well. He very well may- we may not have chemistry like I think we do. And then Prince Eric is always really attractive, but I don't like long, dark hair as much as I like short, like, a, more of a crew cut. And Prince Eric does have long hair, but Aladdin- Aladdin I could also go for. I could also go for Shang. I could go for me some Shang. I've never seen Princess and the Frog, but the guy looked pretty hot on it. Falling in love with an amphibian? That's a bit- I don't know how I feel. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And there are three new vlogs on my vlogging channel. You guys should go check that out. And um, I will see you guys next week. And I'll see you guys on Monday on my second channel if you guys are subscribed to that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Setting up your profile. Let me just say, in order to attract a douchebag, you must look the part as well. Perfect.